I will call this meeting to order. Uh, it's the regularly scheduled meeting of the Transportation Public Works Committee. I'm the committee's chair, Councilmember Reich. I'm joined by my colleagues, Councilmembers Johnson, Fletcher, and Gordon. We are in quorum and we'll proceed with today's agenda. Uh, on today's agenda, we have uh, 18 items, um, two of which are public hearings, the remainder are on consent. I'll go through the consent items. Um, committee members can pull them for further consideration if they so wish. Uh, item three is the contract amendment with URS for the Nicollet Central Modern Streetcar Environmental Study. Item four is the contract amendment with Rice Lake Construction Group for fil Fridley Filter Plant Rehabilitation Project. Item five is the contract with Short Elliott Hendrickson Incorporated for Sanitary Storm Manhole Inspection Project. Item six is the Mississippi Watershed Management Organization Grant for Old Bassett Creek Tunnel Cleanout. Uh, item seven is the subordinate funding agreement number three with the Met Council for the Green Line Extension. Item eight is the subordinate funding agreement uh, number four with the Met Council for the Green Line Extension. Item nine is a corporate agreement with the University of Minnesota for East Street Southeast Roadway Design. Item 10 is a memorandum of understanding with the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency to reduce the particulate matter in the Lowry Bridge area. Item 11 is an affirmation of right of way, vacation resolution 81R471. Item 12 is the temporary easement acquisition for the Upton Vincent 51st Avenue North Sanitary Reconstruction Project. Item 13 is the Pedestrian Advisory Committee appointments. Uh, item 14 is the gift acceptance of Rails to Trails Conservancy, uh, Conservancy for travel related expenses. Item 15 is the X Games 2018 large block event permit, 2019 or July 19 to July 22nd. Um, and final three items are the bid for pump station number six boilerplate project. Uh, 17 is the bid for the Fridley Water Plant Clean Water Basin Rehabilitation Project. And the final item is the bid for the Mid City Industrial Reconstruction Project. All of those are accepting the low bids. Um, any committee member wish to pull an item? Uh, see none. I will move all items as submitted. All in favor say aye. Aye. Dissenting name. Those items carry. We can now proceed to the public hearing starting with item one. Good morning, Director Hutchinson. Good morning, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. Our first item today is a public hearing on the 2018 Alley Renovation Program Project Approval and Assessment, which will be presented by Mike Kennedy, the Director of Transportation Maintenance and Repair. Welcome, Mike. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. <clears throat> this is a continuation of the um, uh, public hearing that we opened on Jan uh, June 5th. Just as a quick um, reminder, what we um, recommended that day was passage of a resolution ordering the work to proceed and adopting the special assessments to the amount of $84,801.34 for the 2018 alley renovation program and passage of resolution requesting the Board of Estimate and Taxation to authorize the city to issue and sell assessment bonds and, and the said amount. Um, with that, I can turn it back over to for the public hearing. Thank you. Um, any questions just as a refresher? No, nope, not necessary. I will open the public, or open and continue the uh, public hearing. Uh, anyone signed in? No one signed in. Anyone wish to come forward? Anyone wish to come forward? Seeing none, I will close the public hearing um, and I will move the item before us. Um, is there any further debate? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Dissenting name, uh, that carries. We can now move to public hearing number two. Director Hutchinson. Mr. Chair, members of the committee, Mike Kennedy again to present information on the sidewalk repair and construction assessments, opening this public hearing with information from Mike Kennedy. Again, good morning, Mr. Chair and, and committee members. <clears throat> this is um, <clears throat> about the uh, 2017 sidewalk condemnation and repair program. Public Works completed its annual, annual program <clears throat> uh, in 2017, and property, property owners had the option of contracting for the repairs themselves or allowing the city to complete the work and be billed or assessed for the work. For those choosing the latter, this action is to proceed with the process of collecting those assessments. All property owners received a bill for the completed work. <clears throat> if the owner does not pay the bill, the cost of the work will be listed on the assessment roll and assessed to the property taxes as a special assessment on January 1st of the next year. If the property owner wishes to contest the cost of the work, they have the opportunity to appeal, appear and appeal in an administrative hearing. If the property owner is satisfied with the determination of the administrative hearing officer, no further action is necessary. If the property owner wishes to contest the administrative hearing, <coughs> hearing officer's determination, they may choose to appeal at the public hearing today for the Transportation Public Works Committee. <coughs> if the appeal is denied by the uh, committee, they may then appeal to the district court. Um, their appearance here today or even a written thing would um, 
uh, that was where I was going to uh, guarantee them the opportunity to go to district court. Uh, this appeal must be made within 30 days of the adoption of the assessment rule by the city council. A list of property owners and the charges to be assessed uh, are provided with this uh, letter. The properties on the list to be assessed are on file with the city engineer's office, the special assessment office, had sidewalk repair and uh, construction work done during 2017 by the city sidewalk contractor. The amount to be assessed as special assessment principal is the cost of the work plus the sidewalk overhead charge, <clears throat> which is typically 10% of the cost with a cap of $50. <clears throat> the rest of the schedule and collection schedule and, and interest rates are described in the remainder of the le letter. The uh, total amount to be assessed <clears throat> is $271,122.20. We did um, hold a or schedule a public an administrative hearing uh, with the administering hearing officer on May 2nd, and no one chose to attend that hearing. So with that, our recommendation today is passage of a resolution adopting the assessments, levying the assessments, and adopting the assessment rules for the repair and construction of the public sidewalks on the list of property owners included with this letter in the amount of $271,122. Thank you. Any questions for the presentation? I see none. I will then open the public hearing. <clears throat> Excuse me. No one signed in. Anyone wish to come forward? Anyone wish to come forward? Um, I will therefore close the public hearing and move the item before us as submitted. Any further conversation? See none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Oh, that open? I saw a waving of the finger. Um, mm -hmm. um, I think that passed. Um, here now, um, that recording has passed. All right. All right, so that is the end of our agenda. We are adjourned. Thank you.